Hey, this is Tejesh Kaliki. This video teaches you how to find whether three points are collinear or not. First of all, what is collinearity? When three or more points lie on the same line, then they are said to be collinear. Let's try to visualize this. Consider the xy plane and three points A, B, and C in it. Now, if you can draw a straight line such that it passes through all the three points, then these points are said to be collinear. But what if you can't draw such a line? Like, consider the following three points. No matter how much you try to connect them, you can only connect two of them. In such cases, these points are said to be non collinear. Let's see how to tell whether the points are collinear or not. In this method, we use the slope of a line to tell whether three points are collinear or not. If you don't know what the slope of a line is, be sure to check out our videos on slope. Links are in the description. In the xy plane, consider a line L and three points on it A, B, and C. Now let's take the two line segments AB and BC. These two line segments are part of the same line. So it means that they should also have the same inclination or slope. So if you take the slope of AB and then the slope of BC and they are both equal, then it means that the points ABC are collinear. You might ask, can't we find the slope of AB and AC instead? Or AC and BC? Of course you can. You can take any two pairs of points. To find the slope of a line, we use the slope with two points formula. That is, slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1, where x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 are the two points. Let's try some problems using this. First question. Find the value of x for which the points x comma 1 1 comma 2 and 5 comma 4 are collinear. Pause the video and give this problem a try and when you are ready keep watching for the solution. We are given three points a x comma 1 b 1 comma 2 and c 5 comma 4 and these points are collinear. So therefore we know that the slope of a b should be equal to slope of b c. Slope of a b is nothing but y2 minus y1 that is 2 minus 1 divided by x2 minus x1 that is 1 minus x. This will be equal to slope of BC which is nothing but 4 minus 2 by 5 minus 1. This gives us 1 by 1 minus x is equal to 2 by 4. 2 by 4 is nothing but 1 by 2. After cross multiplication we get 2 is equal to 1 minus x. Therefore, the value of x is equal to minus 1. If three points h, 0, 0, k and a, b lie on a line, then show that a by h plus b by k is equal to 1. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try and when you are ready, keep watching for the solution. We are given three points a, h, 0, b, 0, k and c, a, b. And these points lie on a line. So therefore slope of AB should be equal to slope of BC. By using the slope formula, the slope of AB should be equal to K minus 0 by 0 minus H. And similarly slope of BC should be equal to B minus K by A minus 0. By simplifying this we get K by minus H is equal to B minus K by A. Now by cross multiplication this gives us Ka is equal to minus H into B minus K. And expanding the right hand side we get minus HB plus HK. Which is the same as Ka plus HB is equal to H into K. Now by dividing both sides by H into K we get Ka plus HB by HK is equal to 1. By simplifying this we get our required equation that is a by h plus b by k is equal to 1. There is actually another method to tell whether three points are collinear or not. To understand this, let's start with the following three points. These points form a triangle, right? 
Now, if you keep decreasing the height of this triangle, the area also decreases. And when the height reaches zero, the three points will lie on the same line. That is, they will be collinear. Now, what about the area of this triangle ABC? It will also be zero, right? Therefore, if the three points are collinear, then the area formed by them will be equal to zero. To find the area of the triangle, we use the following formula. That is, half into modulus of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 where x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 are the vertices of the triangle there is actually a trick to remember this that trick is explained in our coordinate geometry recap video link is in the description let us now try a simple problem using this by using the area of triangle show that the points a comma b plus c b comma c plus a and c comma a plus b are collinear pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try and when you are ready keep watching for the solution we know that the area of a triangle is equal to the following here the x1 y1 are a and b plus c and x2 y2 is b comma c plus a and x3 y3 is c comma a plus b by substituting these into the formula we get half into modulus of a into c plus a minus a plus b plus b into a plus b minus b plus c plus c into b plus c minus c plus a we just substituted these points into the formula now here if you observe carefully both of these a's can be cancelled out and similarly both of these b's can be cancelled out and similarly the following as well so therefore this can be simplified into the following now if you expand each of the term we get ac minus ab plus ba minus bc plus cb minus ca now here you can cancel ab and ba and similarly you can cancel bc and cb and similarly you can also cancel ac and ca now therefore we got half into modulus of zero since all the terms are cancelled out which is nothing but zero the area of the triangle is therefore zero which means that the points a b c are collinear try solving the following practice problems thanks for watching the video if you want to see more such videos why don't you subscribe to the channel